Because that's not how you're supposed to be as a black man. You are supposed to be in a position where the the average black woman that meets you is going to end up in a better situation than you are. You are not supposed to be at a competitive level for society. All right? And this is why a lot of black women like thugs that become prisoners so much. See, a lot of people think it's about them being a thug. No, they identify if he's a thug, he will likely end up in prison. Or he's likely to have been in prison already, which means what? More than likely, he'll be compromised from a legal position. Which will make it easier for her to control him. Why do women like men who got a bunch of kids so much? Because he has enough baby mamas that he's in a compromised position. So there's only so much he can do even if he tries to take authority over her. If he tries to take authority over his child. There's only so much he can do because he got to deal with all these other baby mamas. Now... As black men, we're going to have to continue to raise what we require of black women. That's what we have to do. We got to continue to require what we want out of them. We're providing them enough. Okay, we are providing them enough. I, I know there's people who don't believe that. And it doesn't make a difference. But I'm going to actually get into a whole show about that. And I'll probably make it tomorrow's show. Okay? But we are providing them enough. They're not providing us enough at the end of the day. And a lot of black men are going to have to learn how to stand on that, for sure. <laughs> Shout out to Low End Theory. <laughs> uh, low End Theory says the best thing a man can do for a woman is ignore her. And there's a, a, a lot of situations where that is absolutely 100% true. And that's something men are going to have to learn to do at the end of the day. You know, if we want good results, we got to do what it's going to take to get the good results, which means we have to make the requirements of them. Stop worrying about what they're requiring of you, okay? Because that's what a lot of black men are totally, totally concerned with. They're concerned with what black women are requiring of them. Jadeo says, uh, as a group, black women have decided they would rather leave in hell than serve in heaven in this environment. They are very comfortable in their position in the hierarchy of white supremacy America uh, or of the white supremacy America. What, well, you know what, Jadeo, you're absolutely right. And that's and but part of the reason they're so comfortable is because a lot of black men think the way they do. And we assist them in their comfort. Of, of wallowing in the uh, the slums of the white supremacy. That's why we have to, you know, put our requirements out on what they need to be doing for us. But I think I'm going to talk about that on a stream tomorrow because we do have to require more because the problem is on their side of the fence at the end of the day. Okay. And if if we keep responding to what women want, we will continue to get the type of community from a collective standpoint that we're getting. Because think about it, y'all. From an overall standpoint, are black men focused on what black women want and we're trying our best to give it them? Collectively, we can say yes. I don't think there's anyone who, who would uh, disagree with that. Now, look at what that has gotten us. See, this is the beauty of hindsight. It's 2020. Collectively, we tried to give black women what they wanted for decades now. And look where we are today. Well, if this is what we get for trying to give black women what they want, maybe we should focus on doing something else. You know, if you want success, you got to do something different. So what should the focus be? We're going to start focusing on what we want. How women feel about it should not even concern you as a man. Do not worry about what women want unless she is your woman. It's that simple to me. 
you know. And I try to make sure I say that on a regular basis so men will get it. Okay, because I do want you brothers to get it. What a woman wants does not matter unless she is your woman. It is that simple. Okay, it's that simple. What she wants does not matter unless she is your woman. Because why should you be trying to live up to the expectations of a woman that is not yours? So women talk about they need more protection. Well, you're not my woman, so I can't hear you. Women say that, you know, they need somebody to mentor their children. You're not my woman, so I can't hear you. (laughs) Okay. Women say they need brothers to do this and do that. Well, I can't hear you because you're not my woman. I'm not concerned with what women want until she's my woman. All right. And if, if every black man could learn to do that, black women wouldn't be talking about what they need so much. Why? Because they'd actually have a man and they'd be getting what they need done. It's that simple. Now, if they pick a man who won't give them what they need, you in America, just pick a different one. See, they they have the power to end the relationship and go get a better one. They do have that power. But the thing is, Are they willing to accept that they have that power and do what it takes? Oh, okay. (laughs) I was just about to close out, but it looked like we got Q in the back. So 